Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. As this episode is being posted as the first ones of you guys are watching this, I will be in Cancun. So I'm going to be in Cancun with Jake and some friends. So if you guys don't know who Jake is, he's my boyfriend. So yeah, just in case you're new to the channel. So we are going to be in Cancun. So any comments on this video, I am probably not going to get to until after the 18th of May. So just so you guys know if you're making any suggestions that I will not be able to add them to any of my videos because I have pre-scheduled and pre-recorded a lot of videos for this week. So yeah, any comments I won't be able to get to till after May 18th. But I am going to just do a little quick review of the last episode. So in the last episode of the Royal Family, we had, well, we had the Royal Kids of Oasis Springs age up, the twins, and I didn't even realize that they did age up, but they did. And then we also had Princess Amira of Windenburg. She went a little crazy with the flirting guys. She kissed two boys. She kissed Lord Ian and Lord Wyatt in the last episode. And then we also had Prince Johan. He had asked her to hang out and then he ditched her. And that's who she's supposed to marry. Like for sure that is who she's going to be arranged to be marrying. Arranged, does that make sense? She's going to, that's who she's arranged to be married to. So he ended up ditching her. So that was not good guys. But we also in the last episode had Princess Anna. She had her third baby girl named Lady Sidira. So she aged up into a toddler and she's adorable. So I'm excited in future episodes to start paying attention to them as well. But in this episode, so we have a Prince Kellen of Windenburg. He is going to ask out Princess Megan of Oasis Springs. So we haven't seen her yet, so we'll get to see her in her new outfit. And she's gorgeous, guys. I'm so excited for you guys to see her. So he's going to ask her out, and then hopefully they're going to go on a date. And then we've got a little bit of sibling rivalry between Princess May and Princess Amira. And you guys will see what I'm talking about, because it is going to be interesting. So if you are excited for this video, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that like button, and if you are not already, don't forget to subscribe and to turn on those notifications. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. So our teenagers are all getting acne. If you saw the last episode, Princess Amira had acne. Princess May doesn't have acne, but Prince Kellen has acne. Can they put like acne medicine on or something? Because they could do that in the, in the Sims 3, but it doesn't look like we can actually do that here. So how it... How can we get rid of the acne, guys? All I see before is, like, complain about ac acne. But I don't know if we can actually get rid of acne. Let's see. Fret, SOL, settings, slice of lights. Oh, reset appearance. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, will this get rid of her acne? I don't actually want her to have acne. I know this is totally cheating, but I don't want her to have acne. Oh, yep. It just blinked and she doesn't have acne anymore. Same thing with Prince Kellen. I want to do the same thing. So if you guys want to know how to get rid of stuff, this is how you do it. So SOL settings, reset appearance. I hope this doesn't like ruin anything. I don't think it will. I think Princess May, she doesn't have any acne, right? Yeah, she's, she's fine. She doesn't have any acne. So yeah, I just, I don't want them to have acne. Okay, Prince Kellen is good too. So Prince Kellen, it is 10 p.m. right now. You know what? I think we're gonna get to the date later. I think the date will be the next day because it is 10 p.m. So what the civil si sibling rivalry is, is that Princess May, she and Prince Johan guys have a bit of a romantic relationship going. They've got like a bit, like it's, he is her romantic interest. So that's a huge deal because her sister is it betrothed to marry, does that make sense? Betrothed to marry Prince Johan. So that's a huge deal. And there's like, like technically Princess May could marry Prince Johan, but like, that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna for sure have Princess Amira marry Prince Johan. That is who she's arranged to marry. So this is a huge deal, guys, because she is having a bit of a romantic interest and her sister doesn't know. So what I'm gonna try to do is I want her, well, first I'm gonna send a flirty text to see if maybe Prince Johan says anything to her. Doesn't look like he did. But I'm going to have them travel together. I don't know if he's gonna be sleeping or what, but I want them to go to a lot that's like very private because I don't want any paparazzi or anyone to see because if they get caught, that's gonna be a huge deal. And I don't, I think Princess Amira would be pretty irritated and mad because I think she would be embarrassed that her sister would have gotten caught with, with her fiance. So I think the Island Bluffs are going to be like, they're going to be private enough, I hope. If not, I, I heard that generic 
venues you can like they're like very private like no one actually goes to a generic venue so if that doesn't work they might go to the cathedral <laughs> because i i could turn another place generic too but yeah right now we're just gonna try the island bluffs and see and hopefully no pa no paparazzi will show up hopefully so her and prince johan are here hopefully no one shows up she was feeling very flirty a second ago they're like way over here though so we want to go here and maybe we should probably go inside because i don't think they should be swimming because it is freezing maybe they should warm up by the fire together <gasps> yeah let's do that okay there is a bonfire over here so let's go there and light it and then i'm yeah i'm really hoping no paparazzi show up i hope not because it's really late guys like princess may has snuck out to go hang out with prince johan so hopefully no paparazzi show up so should they hang out but like can you hang out here yeah hang out together by the fire you guys can warm up because it is very cold it is snowing so yeah, you guys are gonna be very, very cold. I actually wanna add a little bench for them to sit right here at. Is this a bench? And what is this? Is this a, that is a bench. Okay, so I'm going to put this like right. Can I not? Why? Aw, oh, dang. Okay, well they can't sit there. Never mind then. I was hoping that they could sit and like cuddle next to the fire, but it doesn't look like we can. So, but we can sit over here. So let's sit together because I think she might, she might try to see, like, because he's feeling flirty, guys. And you know what, though? Princess May needs to be careful with him because he's, I think he's definitely going to be a huge flirt. I think the girls love him a lot. And I think this is, this is, I just, I don't know. This is risky, guys. This is really risky. Oh, this is really cute, though. Like, I know it's risky, but it's cute. Like, they're still cute. And I, oh my gosh, they're, like, staring at each other. Have I never done this interaction before? Also, if you guys haven't noticed, I changed Princess May's hair, so it's like, it's a little bit different now. I don't know, I kind of like this one better. I might change it again. This, it's like, this kind of seems like her, but it seems also very, like, kind of casual. I'm not 100% sure yet. So we'll just have to see. Oh my gosh, guys, their romantic relationship is going up so much. Like, so much. Like, I didn't even, like, just by sitting together like that next to the fire, their romantic relationship has gone up so much. Guys, I think they really like each other. I think they really, really like each other. So this is a huge risk. Oh my gosh. Promise to dedicate song, pick up line, offer a rose. I don't think she would quite do that yet. Maybe she would... Mmm, I don't know if she's like super risky, but she's feeling very confident. Should they cozy up next to the bonfire again? I don't think she would like go as far as like doing a sexy pose. Maybe she'll promise to dedicate a song though. Maybe we could try that. And then, I mean, they've got like a, like a really big relationship going, guys. They really do. They are, this is so risky. I just want to make sure there's like no one here too. Princess May is going to try a pickup line though. Okay, good. Yeah, no paparazzi have shown up yet. And this is like a first. Like, I swear, every time we try to have some sort of romantic interactions going on with The Sims and they're in a public place, they just like paparazzi just bombard them completely. So the fire is going out a little bit. Do we want to add fuel? And then we want Prince Johan to come back here. And should they... I don't think they're going to stay the night, but I want them to stay longer. <gasps> they can have their first kiss already, guys. Oh my gosh. He's swimming. It's freezing. What the heck are you doing? It is freezing. No. Oh my gosh, you guys. They are going to freeze. They're going to freeze. <gasps> they're going to turn blue. Oh my god. Okay, no, they're turning they're changing back into their winter clothes. Oh, they just literally like swam to travel because it was I guess faster than going around. Oh my gosh, they're having their first kiss, you guys. <gasps> they're having their first kiss. Wait, I have to get this. I have to get this. Oh my gosh, this is this is crazy. I cannot believe. <gasps> I cannot believe this is happening, you guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> She's like, oh, that was bad. Did you see that face? She was like very nervous. She was like, oh, this is this is bad. Her sister hasn't even kissed him yet. Invite to stay the night. A steamy exchange is happening right now. They cannot, she cannot ask him to be boyfriend and girlfriend. They cannot go public with this relationship, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see. Should we mess around in bush? <gasps> guys. Guys. Should we do it? Let's do it. Okay, so Princess May is now asking Prince Johan 
to mess around in the bush. Is he game? He looks like he's into it. Yep. He's like, all right, let's go. All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like, oh my gosh. I have not done this before. We have not had like siblings who like the same boy. And I don't even, Princess Amira doesn't even really like him, but she's just like engaged to marry him. So this sh should be very, very interesting. Oh my gosh. Princess May is a, oh my, oh. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was a really good mess around apparently. Oh my gosh, they had fireworks. Okay, okay. It is 5 a.m. Princess May needs to get back home before her dad knows that she's gone. So we're gonna have Princess May go home. But I cannot believe no pap paparazzi showed up. This is like the place to go if you want to have your sims be like romantic and and not get interrupted by paparazzi and not have the whole world know because that's kind of my thing if like paparazzi saw them together i feel like princess amira and everyone else would know about it so if they were ever to get caught then like that's how they would get caught so princess may is back she's back before 5 a.m so hopefully no one has seen her she needs to do her homework i think so do your homework Princess Amira, I think you also need to do your homework. Yeah, all the kids, they need to do their homework. And then after school, Prince Kellen is going to ask Princess Megan out on a date. I'm so excited for you guys to see her and her outfits and her hair. I love her hair. They've got just this like long, long, gorgeous hair, guys. It is beautiful. I love it a lot. Prince or King Henry, I, I keep saying Prince Henry. I think he needs to, can you like strengthen your connection, your, or or Queen Alice's connection to the spirit world? You can leave a sugar skull offering. What does that mean, guys? What does that mean? Is that a bad thing or is it a good thing? I'm assuming it's a good thing. But like a sugar skull offering? Is it shaped like a skull? Can we see? Does it, like what, what does he actually put down here? Okay, King Henry didn't actually like physically leave anything. So I was kind of expecting him to. Is he, ooh, he's chatting with Princess May, who's feeling very, very flirty. Princess May, you have to go inside. What are you doing? You're gonna you're gonna ruin the plan if you're outside. Your dad's gonna be like, why are you out here? She's just gonna be like, I woke up early and did my homework. That's why I'm out here. So he has no idea that she had left the house at night. So, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so school's about to start for them soon. I do need to up their needs. And then is there any like extra credit work? Yeah, let's try to do some extra credit work two before you all go to school you're going to go to school very soon though so i don't know if you're actually going to be able to do this but extra credit work and then let's try to also like fill their needs because that needs to happen oh no king henry's sad from sad bomb oh yeah he's an emotion bomb what is what is what was princess may doing was she praying and who is this a, you're just like a random person what? Why are you side-eyeing King Henry like that? You're just a commoner. Get away. Seriously. You need to leave this lot. Princess May, you are you need to finish your homework, but you're talking to this person. Do you know who this is? Because I have no idea who she is, you guys. They are about to go to school. As soon as they're done with their extra credit work, they're all going to go to school. And when they get back, Prince Kellen can, um, he can definitely ask. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what are we doing? Okay, he needs to ask Princess Megan out on a date when, or try to flirt with her at least, when they get back from school. So they're on their way to school right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, Prince Kellen wants to invite over Prince Johan. <gasps> Should he? Well, he's gotta go to Princess Meghan anyway, but I don't think, I don't, oh. Oh my gosh, I don't know, you guys. Would Prince Johan say yes to that? I'm gonna do it. We're gonna see what happens. Oh my gosh, but him and Princess May, they can't flirt with each other. Anger management, sometimes I just get angry, do a workout. Learn some emotional control. Okay. Oh my gosh. No, but well, Prince Kellen, he's going to leave anyway. So <laughs> I guess we're just going to leave Prince Johan here with the girls, I guess. Oh gosh, you guys. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're, I, I just, oh, I don't want them. They don't want to get caught. That probably wasn't a good idea, but yeah. Okay. So Prince Kellen, should we do, if we do like a royal kids club gathering though. Oh, we need, oh, okay. We need more points so we can add more people to the royal teen club. So we're actually going to start a royal teen club. Hopefully Princess May and Prince Johan can control themselves and not flirt with each other. Also, why is there a rainbow over Prince Kellen's head? What does this mean? What does that mean? What? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, stop working out. You need to ask out. Wait, Princess Megan isn't even here. 
So let's invite her over. Oh my gosh, guys, they're like best friends. Invite to hang out on current lot. This is gonna be so easy. If they're already like such good friends, this is going to be like super easy to get them together. So, okay, Princess Megan. It might take her a little time to get here, so she'll be right over. So she, it might still take her a bit of time. So Princess Belle is here. So, oh my gosh, are they like best friends too? Someone was saying too that they think that like the, their friendship is a little bit suspicious. They are cousins, but like I kind of think it's suspicious too. I don't know if Princess Amira would like, like, because Princess Amira is so wild and crazy and Princess Belle is such a goody two-shoes, so it does seem a little suspicious that they're friends. But they are cousins too, so. Okay, and then Prince Johan is here, you guys. <gasps> Can they talk to each other normally? Oh my gosh. Well, Princess Amira has not, so she doesn't know anything about their relationship at all. They're actually like decently okay, good friends. Maybe they should start flirting though, because like they're supposed to get engaged. And Princess May, she's in the other room though. She's like on a different floor. So she's not gonna know anything about this. But Prince Kellen, where is Princess Megan? Is she here yet? Because we want you to start flirting with her. I don't see her. I don't think she is here yet. It might take her a bit of time to get here. I don't know. Sometimes they like travel from like really far away to get here. They don't actually know where she is. Let's see. Let's, oh wait, that's her. Wait, yep, found Princess Megan. Okay, so let's ask to Cloud Gaze so we can get her away from everybody else so we're not interrupted. So he's gonna like bring her away and ask her to hang out privately. Princess May is up here. She it looks like she's playing Don't Wake the Llama with, with nobody. <laughs> That's sad and depressing. Play with, let's choose people to play with. Play with Princess Belle, your cousin. Play with Prince Louis, who is, it's Prince, it's Prince Louis, cause se someone asked me to like name him Prince Louis, but like L-E-W-I-S. So I, but I like this spelling of it better with the O-U-I-S. And then a lot of people were saying, no, it's Prince Louis, but like it can be Prince Louis too. They're not French. So I'm going to call him Prince Louis. So them and then they, you get, yeah, just play, just play with the three, two with the two of them. And then Princess Amira, she's down here. She's about to flirt with Prince Johan. That looked like it went pretty well. So they're flirting, do a pickup line. Cause she's way more forward than I think Princess May would ever be. So they're going to flirt, except now they're in a group conversation. So they can't really flirt anymore. Let's check on Prince Kellen. Oh no, wait, their friendship went down. Or is that like, is it not really going down? Like it just does that sometimes. And I don't know why. But guys, she's beautiful. Look at her hair. She's gorgeous. Flirt with her. She's so pretty, you guys. Like seriously though, I think that she's so, so pretty, you guys. So her outfit is a little bit more uh, to like her culture than her sister's was, which probably doesn't make too much sense because her sister is the heir to the throne, not her. But I just thought it looked so beautiful on her. I might end up changing her sisters too to something a little bit more matching to the culture but we'll just have to see. But yeah, I mean, look at her, you guys. She could be the future queen of Windenburg. Let me know what you guys think. I think she's beautiful, and I think that she would be a really, really great queen. And I love her hairstyle too. Like, it's so long, it's so gorgeous and pretty. So why don't we, well, they're still, they're still cloud gazing. Um, Baron Matthew, hey, we haven't gathered in a while. Uh, not right now, we're, we're a little busy focusing on the teenagers, so. We want them to flirt a little bit, do a pickup line with her, and then you can also compliment her appearance, tell her she looks beautiful, cause she does. So I think she might be into this. I mean, they're already really good friends, so I can't imagine that this isn't going to go well. She's feeling flirty and he's feeling very flirty already. The first time they flirt, that makes them both very flirty. But it says the relationship's going down and I don't know why. I don't think so though. I think they're fine. Why don't you... Oh, no. Oh, no. Did we try too hard? Uh-oh. Wait. Or no, is she complaining about something? Um, no, I think they're fine. Brag about Grays. I don't think you want to do that. Com complain about Cole. Do that. Do some friendly interactions, too, while you're doing the romantic interactions. Okay, Princess Megan's looking a little like... Oh, wait. No, their friendship went down. Is it actually going down though, you guys? What is wrong with this? Like, does any does this happen to anybody else? Cause I would love to know. Okay, oh good, we got some light on here. I was like, wow, it's kind of dark. Also this pink on her neck is like, I know it looked weird and like kind of like a disease at first, but it's actually part of the dress. So yeah, just in case you were wondering, this is actually her, her cold weather outfit. Wait, oh no, uh oh. 
their romance went down a little bit, so we need to hold back, I think, a little bit. I think we're going a little bit too strong. We'll ask her about her love life, because that's technically a friendly interaction. So let's check on Princess Amira. She's talking to her dad, and then I have no idea where Prince Johan went. Did he leave? Oh, no, Prince Johan's right here. Okay, so I think she's going to try to flirt with him a bit, because none of the guys that she has romance with is actually here, so they don't know. So, I mean, they know that she's engaged to marry that guy, though. Or not that guy. Prince Johan. So, they already know. So, I think that, like, it is still, like, very secretive. But, oh my goodness gracious, guys. This is just, like, Princess Amir is a mess. She's got a lot going on. Princess Belle just became good friends with Princess May. Oh, good. Oh, good. She's good friends with her cousin now. And then she's also playing with Prince Louis. Her Louis. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to make me start saying Prince Louis. Should we just call him Prince Louis? I just, I, I don't know. I, they're not French. That's why I didn't go with it. But I guess he could be Prince Louis, especially if I'm just going to start saying that now because that's what is in my head because you guys were saying that. So maybe, maybe. So Princess Megan. So, she, oh, she came over to talk to him. It looks like to show him some pictures on her phone. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. Was Princess Amir just trying to flirt with Prince Johan while... Her dad was right there. I mean, that's fine, though, because they're engaged to be married. So I think that her dad obviously would be okay with it, with this because this is kind of his agreement. So I think that... Oh, my gosh. No, Rome, like, friendship is going down. Whoa! What? Did you guys just see that? Did you guys just see that? Prince Johan and Prince Kellen just kissed each other on the cheek. I don't know if that was a greeting thing. Or maybe it's because they're both feeling very flirty. I've never seen that before. I've never even seen, like, girls and guys do that to greet each other, like, kiss each other on both sides of the cheek. Are they related? I, no, they can't be related. Interesting. Okay, pristine reputation. Princess May has a pristine reputation. Well, she doesn't want to break that. So, it, she definitely doesn't want to get caught with Prince Johan. Okay, so I want to take... I want to take princess megan away from everyone else i'm gonna ask her out on a date so we're gonna get away from everybody it is 10 p.m no don't leave don't leave don't leave don't leave wait come back wait can we ask you on a date from here ask on date okay we're gonna ask her on a date it is kind of late but i think he would have his it's a friday night so i think he would have permission from his dad to take her out and i i don't think we want to take her to the island bus so let's take her to a restaurant i know it's late well, let's go to the Grand Hotel. There's going to be a lot of paparazzi here, though, guys. Maybe we should go to a different restaurant. One that way I haven't been to yet. I think there's a Winden... Oh, wait. Uh, wait. Isn't there a Windenburg restaurant? Or maybe the restaurant was in Newcrest? No. I think it was a Windenburg restaurant in Windenburg. And that would make sense. So, I think it's this one. And I don't think I've been here yet. And I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we haven't. So, he's going to take her to this new restaurant that's in town. So this is kind of cute and cozy. There's probably going to be a good amount of paparazzi here, though. So they're going to have to deal with that. Okay, so this restaurant is called The Windenburg. That sounds fancy. So, oh, wait. This is Prince Kellen's crown. That's the same crown that I'm pretty sure that the king of Oasis Springs wears. <laughs> so I, I, they just they don't have enough male crowns. So I definitely need to, to fix that. So let's request a table for both of us. Although they just both went upstairs. I don't know where they went. But this is his formal outfit, so he's, like, wearing his crown here. I might have him change, actually, because I don't think he needs to do this. Maybe let's change... I mean, even his everyday outfit is formal enough. But he wants to be, like, formal and take her out. I mean, he could wear his party outfit. Mm. Oh, we'll just keep it. It's fine. Everyone knows he's the prince. So, yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone with this crown. I probably should have gone with a different crown. But I think it's okay for now. So we have, oh, okay, and this is Princess Megan's formal outfit too. So this is one of her formal outfits, and I didn't really know if it fit in it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it's pink. And I mean, like, it's it has yellow in it too, which is her royal family colors. But pink is our Windenburg family colors. So, oh, wait, what did I just do? What did I click on? What did I click on? Uh-oh. Wait. I don't know what I did. Uh, well, we're gonna have to order for the table, but, I uh, okay, yeah, so let's, let's just order real quick, so, ooh, a love potion, let's do that, they'll feel stu- they'll feel stupid, <laughs> they will feel super flirty, so they can do that, and then let's do lobster for her, and a, a fox lobster, 
like fake lobster? Vegetarian casserole, rack of lamb for him. Oh wait, I didn't pick the lobster for her. Okay, so this is their dinner. Okay, so they're ordering their food now. So yeah, so I wasn't sure I thought about this dress. It was kind of hard finding dresses that kind of like went with her culture too, but like if she is the future queen of Wyndham, I think that like this is a, an official arranged marriage and I think they're good with it. Like, I think this is very similar to King Henry and Queen Alice, how they like were like close as kids and they were really close as kids too. So I think they're like kind of fine with this. So I feel like this is gonna work. So this dress kind of is showing that like she's going to be the future queen of Windenburg by having the pink, but also the yellow, but then having like her tiara too, or like the tiara for their, from their world, so, or their kingdom. So yeah, I know that all sounds very confusing, but this is just kind of what's going on in my head. Oh, and it looks like Queen Nina is here too. Does Prince Kellen not know her? Apparently he doesn't, but oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, and Queen Cora just walked in. We have two queens in the house, guys. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yeah, both of their dresses are beautiful. Queen Cora is here, so we have to say hi because that's just, this is her aunt, so we have to say hi. So ask, can we just hug her? Can we give her a hug? Get to know, deep conversation, hug. Let's just give her a hug and then we'll get back to our date. So it's like, oh, hey aunt. And then King Edmund's here, that's his uncle, but they don't seem to be very close. But ask for, we can ask for a hug too. And I think our food's actually here. So we're going to sit together and then we are going to eat our meal. So they've got this love potion. They're gonna feel super, super flirty. I don't know if she's feeling very flirty, but we want, oh, we need to tell her date a story. So that's one of the things we need to do. And then we also need to socialize about meal. So let's go to friendly. We can socialize about meal. Where is that option? Okay, I don't know why I'm not seeing anything about socializing about the meal. But we do need to at least tell her a story, so I think I just saw tell engaging story. Was that an option? I think so. Where is that? Okay, tell engaging story. So tell your data story. So that's one of the things. We just need to socialize with her ten times, but I only have one out of ten, but he's like talking to her right now. So I don't know why those aren't being fulfilled at the moment. Ask her if she's single, even though we know that she's single. We need to have deep conversations with her, so we can do that. So we need to have two deep conversations with her. So we'll just click that twice, deep conversation. And then yes, of course we know that she's single. Okay, so they're both feeling pretty, pretty flirty. They're exchanging numbers and oh my gosh, guys, Prince Kellen looks so cute. He's blushing so hard right now. Do you see him? He looks adorable. He looks like a little kid, even though he's like all dressed up and stuff, but he is like, he's blushing. I think he really, really likes Princess Megan. So he is about to offer her a rose. So this is just kind of like a, this dinner was great. I'm gonna end it by giving her a flower. Like this is so, he's such a gentleman. She's like, oh my goodness, this is so romantic. So their romance is going up a lot. I'm going to have them have their first kiss now. So this is happening pretty, pretty quickly, but I think this is like super, oh gosh, I think this is gonna be super cute, you guys. Oh, she's like, oh, she was like, oh, that was great. I think that they're like really great for each other. Should he ask her to be his girlfriend yet? I mean, they're already in like arranged marriage pretty much. So like, it's kind of already for sure. Also the freaking, the relationship keeps going down and I don't understand. Okay, they need to pay end and pay for meal. So their day is pretty much over. I am going to have him ask to be girlfriend, I think. So we're going to make it official. They're going to be officially girlfriend and boyfriend. Is she going to say yes? Cause their friendship just went down. Uh, okay, no, she said yes. Okay, so they're good. So they're super- wait, why, guys? Do you see this? It keeps going down and I don't understand. It's so strange. All right, well, whatever. So they're dating officially and their date is complete. They've earned a gold medal, so they are all set. They are all good, you guys. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. So we did have, like, you guys got to see a little bit of the rivalry. It's not like an official rivalry between Princess May and Princess Amira, but like, there's gonna be something I think going on. So it's like the start of something. So I, again, am not gonna see any comments or suggestions. Uh, well, I will see them, but I won't be able to do anything about it until 
after May 18th. So just so you guys know, you guys are welcome to make suggestions and then I'll like factor them into later on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. And in the next episode, we will focus on some of the other royal families, probably the royal family of Willow Creek. So we will get to find some little romance going on with them. And I hope you guys are looking forward to that, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.